This is an update on my generator testing. Test rig I have here is driven by a 24 volt DC brush motor with the power supply. This generator isn't a lensless generator and I haven't noticed anything unusual with the power in and power out yet. The power supply, the amps, are also the same as this analog amp meter and I have that on the 5 amp setting so one amp is right here. Now from the generator I have a 500 milliamp gauge in line with the generator and this transformer and both of those coils are a bi-filer kind of like Tesla's patent. And I'm stepping the volts up to 120 volts AC to this four and a half watt LED light and I have a volt reading for that there. I'm not really looking too much for the power in and power out. I was basically looking for a lensless generator. You can hear this runs pretty smooth. Pretty much the only noise you get from this is from the brush motor itself. Now that's connected up. If I disconnect it, you'll see the amps change. It drops. So that does show me there's a lens effect there. It does generate fairly well. They can get over 120 volts out of it. Just slightly out of balance, but the one interesting thing I noticed with this is a power drop coming from the generator to the transformer, like there's some kind of resonance point. I'll zoom in on the meter here. As I turn this up. You'll notice the needle goes backwards slightly. Right there. And if I keep going, it barely climbs up past that point. I thought that was odd the way it jumps around. And there it drops. As far as I can figure out some kind of resonant point. I tried several different configurations with this and they all have the same lens effect. I even tried the capacitor in the middle, like I showed in some of my other videos. I have a feeling the way I wound the coil with tying the two halves together by layers might have been a mistake. I might end up winding a new coil there. I'll keep experimenting with this. Thanks for watching.